Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what is in my bag, allergic to water edition. So I really used to like watching these types of videos just cause it gives you a bit of an insight into what other people are like, how they think. Cause of my condition, I feel like it's made me very, very cautious and I have to take a lot of precautions and I have to think ahead quite often to make sure that I am prepared for anything to happen because when I leave the house the truth of it is is that anything could happen and I have to be prepared for anything that could go wrong with my skin so that I can deal with it whilst I'm out hopefully I say that but that rarely happens so I'm gonna slowly go through my bag now this isn't one of those what's in your bag videos that are to show off your nice bag like this is a straight up Zara I think it was about 20 pounds like I do not own any designer bags because let's be real I just don't have that kind of money so I'm starting off with the first thing because I slightly need this right now so I feel like if I get it out first then two birds one stone you know so one thing that I always take with me everywhere is my handheld fan so I got this baby from Amazon I'll put the details either on the screen or in the description box or both but it's a rechargeable fan which like I say I carry everywhere with me it saves my life on a daily basis and it gives you an idea of the charge as well and the battery life on this honestly i've had it for the longest time i use it every single day and i've charged it once in the time that i've had it and i've literally had it about four or five months and it was pretty affordable like for what it is i think it was such a good investment especially for my skin and my condition because obviously i'm allergic to my own sweat so there's so many situations in like your day-to-day -day life that you can find yourself in where you're overheating you're out you know like you walk into a building that you're not expecting to have heating on and they have got the heating on full blast like that happens to me way too often it is just a lifesaver having this fan and just being able to whip it out and kind of control your own temperature rather than just melting and starting to itch you know and you do get a few weird looks because it makes a bit of a noise like people do look like what's she holding but I'm allergic to my sweat and I don't care what it looks like this fan saves my life and then the next thing that I absolutely always have in my bag is my Emmerlin spray so this is my water free prescription spray from my doctor it's the only moisturizer that I can use because it doesn't contain any water and therefore it doesn't create like a direct reaction with my skin so I always have this on me because if I get dry skin I can't just use whatever's there I have to be prepared and I have to make sure that I have my own stuff so this stays on me and then in my bag i will also always have my car keys because i rarely go anywhere without my car honestly it's like my little bubble of protection even if i go for a walk like i'll drive to the place and then i'll go for a walk because i know that then if whilst i'm out for a walk and it starts raining or whatever or anything happens i start having an allergic reaction i know that i've got a safe place and i can make sure that i've left it nearby and for me that is like a big part of like being able to get out and go and do things like if I didn't have the safety of my car I would worry so much about getting from A to B without having shelter like I say it's literally a bubble of protection for me and people don't even realize like how scary and quite how badly it can destroy your day when you're allergic to water and you're out and it starts raining like it's literally like it's like the heavens are opening and pouring acid from the sky like it's scary and then the next thing that I've got in my bag at all times is my purse do not ask me why it's always empty but not for long guys i'm securing the bag this year and then the next thing that i always have on me is my little cosmetics bag so this is just a zoeva makeup bag but it doesn't actually hold a lot of makeup in it honestly like unless i go out with like a full face of makeup on it doesn't really have makeup in it so today the only makeup that i'm wearing is my brows and then other than my brows i've just got these lily lashes on so i've just got the lily lashes box and some tweezers just in case my eyes get irritated throughout the day and i have to like take them off because that does often happen like it's not often that I actually wear like a full face of makeup like apart from in my videos where I'm actually doing a makeup tutorial I don't wear makeup on a daily basis because I'm just so sensitive my skin probably could not take it if I wore it every single day so yeah I always take something with me to give me the option to remove any makeup that I am wearing in case my skin decides that it doesn't want it today and that it's not in the mood because sometimes it does that and then I've got like a little zip tuck compartment in here which i keep all of like my medication that i might need throughout the day in 
so i've got this spray it's like a strong antihistamine spray it's a nasal spray um and it kind of helps to clear it up when i have like sneezing hay fever attacks but i don't know it's a bit hit and miss this and i take that on top of taking antihistamines every day as well and then for the rash obviously i've got this ointment which i'll always take out with me sometimes if i'm out and the pollen's really high um my rash will get a lot worse on my face if i've been out and the air's got to it and stuff so i like to take it out with me just in case it gets really sore and i need to put some ointment on it and then i also just make sure that i have whatever medication that i'm due to take that day so this is just my epilepsy medication i'm not epileptic but that is currently what i'm on as a trial treatment for my skin condition so for my allergy to water i'm taking this epilepsy medication which is called gabapentin so i've just got that on me as well and then lastly i always have my umbrella on me i've just got a compact portable umbrella you might have seen me doing that little segment of this in the news recently like i asked to do that by the way i said to the photographer have you seen my umbrella because it's so fucking cool because literally you can press the up button it goes up press the down button it goes down all by itself and for me that is amazing because the main struggle and the main reason that i find umbrellas difficult with this skin condition is because if it's raining and i'm trying to get through the rain without getting wet anyway fiddling with an umbrella and trying to get it up and trying to put it down is half of the problem and is half of the reason why i usually get rain on me if it's raining and i'm trying to get through it so having an umbrella that just kind of like does its thing for me is a lifesaver honestly because it's just so quick my bag is mainly full of things that are going to help prevent disaster throughout the day to be honest in terms of my skin and that's okay like obviously other than that i would chuck my phone in there but other than that like when i go out i do not take much with me other than things that are going to keep me safe just giving you a little bit more of an insight into my everyday life so don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and get that notification bell turned on to make sure that you never miss out when i upload a new video if you don't already then make sure that you're following my instagram and twitter but those are my most used social media accounts but make sure that you go and follow me over there just to keep in touch with me keep up to date with what's going on and all that as always angels thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video